from modest beginnings in Baltimore, Maryland, to an international billion dollar empire. My grandfather said, know your job, and I can promise you'll never be in a bread line. Since the beginning, Reginald F. Lewis was destined for success. I signed him up for camp. And he said, who's going to take care of my business? And I said, I will. And the first thing he said when he walked through the door, where's my money? A man with an unconventional approach to conventional institutions. I was told that he is the only person to get into Harvard Law School without formally applying. The thing that I admired about Reginald Lewis, he was a take charge kind of a guy. The sheriff reached for me. Reggie grabs the sheriff's arm and said, wait a minute, who are you? I'm the high sheriff, who are you? And Reggie said, I'm Reginald F. Lewis. I represent uh, Reverend Chavis. Yes, he was a Wall Street, highly trained corporate lawyer, but he was a strong freedom fighter for civil rights. He was Jesse Jackson's first big funder, handing Jesse Jackson a $100,000 check unsolicited. Reg Lewis, in many ways, was the Jackie Robinson of business. I have to admit, when I first met Reg, I wasn't told <laughs> that, 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 that he was black. There weren't that many black entrepreneurs in New York City at the time. He bought 64 companies in 31 countries for almost $1 billion. So in that sense, he is a pioneer. The fact that we were able to close a gargantuan deal, given its international character, was just, uh, it, was, it was absolutely off the charts. There is no doubt that Reginald Lewis's success paved the way for me and many others. And I think that really is the test and demonstration of real leadership. Keep going to build a better society in America, to be a compassionate America, that you keep going no matter what. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Pioneers, Reginald F. Lewis and the making of a billion dollar empire.